Well, this is the this is the opening day video. I sent them like a, a two minute video of me talking about like you know like uh, what Ooh, I'm looking forward to and like you know what I'm looking like, you know just about ranked and stuff. And then they they included they legit included the only part that they included. I'm very excited to climb the ladder. That's it. That's all. They, next year, I'm excited to climb the ladder. So if I end in D three and I started in D three, like. No. Okay. Anyways, we're going to go on and we're going to watch some of the cinematics. I'm very, 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 very excited to be watching these. I haven't touched any of them. They have come out like 10 hours ago. They all did. So let's start out with the Rune Nation season 21, season 2021 cinematic. Let's go. The housing's loose again. What did you do to this thing? You'll have it fixed by Mudtown. With currents and wind conditions, we can be there in three days. I cried last time when I saw them together. Thank you, Mr. Mighty Pickle. Welcome back. Oh, shoot. Is she like... Is she like cursed? Hmm? Huh? The mist should be leagues from here. Well, it saved us a trip. Sin, huh? Hey. We don't run from darkness. I'm getting chills. What the heck? We light the way. Her gun is huge. It's the size of her body. How can she lift that? Damn, she just put that on her back like it's nothing. What? Well, she's just taking their souls. What the? I'm getting so much Calista vibes from this, just because it's, you, you know, it's like, you know, oh, you know, at a whiles. I have crossed through death and ruination to get back to her. Return, my queen. You my queen? You destroy this world. <laughs> she is my world. <gasps> What? Uh -huh. Her soul? Oh no, not again! No! What, why is he not watching his wife? What is going on? Oh my god, Samira! Oh. Oh. Okay, Karma, walking up. Heck are those things? They walk like this. Okay, Poppy? Oh, damn, she 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 got she got some fur on her. Darius, what's going on? Darius, Darius, what, what's going on? Why are they all going like crazy? W W W. What? Oh no! Hey, vein. What? What the? Oh my God! It's a cinematic vein. Stop. Death animation. I mean, her death noise. What? He just shot her soul. He killed her, man. Not down the cliff. Now, who did that? Oh, her. Okay, okay. What is? What is that? Don't tell me this is an advertisement for Legends of Runeterra. It's the Lich King, guys. Yeah, stay back. I got one gun and there's like a thousand of you. Oh my. Why is he trying to kill her? Oh my god, are they gonna fall off the edge of the cliff? I, I'm literally- I have chills all over my body right now. Where are they? Who are they with? Sinner? We can't defeat him alone. 
bridges never die And the world is calling you Did you hear them scream? What? This is not the song? That's not the song, is it? Okay! There has to be a movie after this, right? That's it! Okay, well, that was, uh, that was that. Now we're gonna check out the... Um, yeah, good luck esports 2021. We'll be watching. Okay, champions in season 2021. I'm Ryan Reeve Morales, the lead Hi. producer of the champions team. Okay. I want to take a little time to talk with you about some of the plans champions team has in store for 2021. Okay. So last year, we set a goal to ship at least one new champion in every position, with the exception Don of Yon. mid lane, where we wanted to have both Era a mage queen. and a melee What champion. is that? Is there, oh, we believe that players dev, shouldn't probably. have to go longer than a year to get a new champion to try in their role. So this is something yes. we plan on doing again this year. We're also on our face here five more times, by the way. is a new jungler, one you just saw in the opening cinematic. It's a jungler. That's right. We're finally bringing Viego. The Viego into league as a playable champion. Is he a Virgo? At long last, he's more than just an item. And to prove it, here's a quick peek at the new gameplay he'll be bringing to the Rift. I wonder if he gets his Blade of the Rune King for free. What? He's taking him. If you want to try him out yourself, he'll be hitting PBE very soon and goes live later this month. Did did he just take over somebody, somebody's body? So Viego's release is just the start of the Rune King story. And what? the next three new champions we will be releasing this year will also tie into Viego's return. Now for a while, we've been wanting to add more like magic that. damage fighters, especially one tailor made for top lane. We believe snipping a bigger space out of our roster for AP fighters will not only lead to more diversity in top lane, but also more choices for other lanes as well. And with that goal in mind, we began to sew together a new champion for the Ruined King's return. But where do their loyalties lie? With Viego or with Senna and Lucian in the fight for hope? Also, for our internet sleuths out there, we hit a small Easter egg a sleuth? This champ in the Ruined King game. So let's see if any of you can find it. What? So after we pass through the new skirmisher, the next champion after that is a gloomy new artillery mage who would prefer if we just didn't even bother her at all. I mean, I don't blame her. These days, there's so much skill shots and dashes and hyperactivity around Summoner's Rift. Either way, as tiring as all these champions can be, shooting skill shots everywhere, it sure beats being back in that happy-go-lucky Bandle City. She would choose anything in that colorful, horrible, bright place. Now so the an, third an, champion, another that little part one? of the Rune King's return, is a marksman. But much like Senna, they are planned for a non-traditional position. Sheesh. It's a bit too early though to say more about this champ. Tell me. So look out for, Tell me. Tell for a me. new Sentinel of Life. Okay. <laughs> Lulu's sister, hey, something like that. Now that we've talked about some of our plans for new champions, let's get right into VGUs. So first of all, we're still hard at work on the Dr. Mundo update, which should go live this spring. We really want to amplify Mundo's whole like dark comedy theme while bringing his visuals up to date as well. Last time we shared his new concept, we heard a lot of feedback from players. This is what they did to Trundle. They, well they went him from Mundo. like troll we to like... Team about that and we agreed with it. So we updated it to look less well kept, as you can see in the new portrait mm. art shown here. Interesting. Now, as for his gameplay, we still want Mundo to go where he pleases, chucking cleavers along the way. Yeah. So we'll be keeping a lot of what you love about Mundo intact. But look out for a new dev vlog this week that'll go way deeper into Mundo's development. Okay. Finally, we announced another player choice VGU poll last year. And while we didn't quite make it for 2020, we're happy to say it's coming this week. You'll be able to choose which champion you think we should update next. The poll will include five champions, two returning champions in Shivana and Nocturne, as well as three newcomers in Udyr, Quinn, and Skarner. Yeah. But before casting your vote, you can learn more about okay. why we chose these champions, what we would consider changing on them, so that you can make the best, most informed decision on who to vote for. 
This will be coming in a dev blog along like with the poll kit, though. this week. So that wraps it up for Champions Team. I can't wait for you all to see the new Champions X Y for Viego's return, as well as what you think of Mundo's VGU progress. Thanks for watching, and see you on the Rift. How come? I'm not going to see him on the Rift, am I? All right, well, that was the Champions of the Season 2021 video. Now we're moving on to the gameplay in 2021. Hey everybody, Hi. I'm Jeremy. Hi AKA Jeremy. Right, Bright Moon, Bright Moon. The lead producer for gameplay on League of Legends. Okay. I am so excited to welcome all of you to the start of season 20. Thank you. Today I'm going to talk about some of the recent updates we've made to help you get ready for this new season. Okay. As well as some of the things we're working on that we haven't released yet. Tell me. So let's get to it. Okay. This preseason, we've completely revamped League's item system to I keep know. the game's foundation strong as it continues. People hate to it, but I think it's okay. Deciding which items to What the I never seen that. Victory Why was he big? And item choices, stats, and effects should be clear. More, and mortal shield bow? So we took a look is it at no damage? Item. That Jin walking we up melee? What was working well uh, what? What we oh my through. Samira. Triple kill. Some items haven't changed much. But we've removed some others and added some new picks. True, rip for the mallet. Sure each item has a clear and unique purpose in the game. One problem we especially wanted to solve was that most of the time, earning a powerful item just wasn't very rewarding. Uh huh. Getting your first big item should feel impactful. And champions Ooh. of every playstyle should have multiple choices Sheesh. to be excited about. Okay. So we've added mythics. By the way, everybody, this is for YouTube videos. So if everybody in chat, what's up? Say hi. Say hi to YouTube. Hi, YouTube. Options and give you more control on how you want to play. Okay, okay. And because mythics are so powerful, you can only have one at a time. So choose wisely. Another area we focused on was the shop itself. We've wanted to improve the shop for a long time, but the technology it was using was too old and fragile. We've completely rebuilt the shop with new tech and tons of improvements. Okay. For example, we've smartened up the recommended tab to make suggestions based on what high level players are building and which items are good against the enemy team. That's good, that's good. So if you're worried about having to relearn items, don't panic. The new shops got your back. True. Updating such a foundational system is gonna have a big impact on the game. It has. So keeping a close eye on balance and what everyone is building, especially Bal in these You're keeping games. an eye on balance, huh? Thank you to all the players who've been giving really? us feedback along the way, and please keep it coming. Okay. Because like the rest of League, the item system will continue evolving over time. You have to let them know. You got to give them your two cents. If you're not telling Riot how you feel about their game, that's the positive. Overhaul, we're making some changes to Ranked to prep for this season. Okay. So before you get started on the climb, which by the way, you can do today, let's take a look at what's new. Okay. We know it's been frustrating to win streak into promos only to go one and two when the stakes are high. So we're removing promotion series between divisions. Okay. You'll still go through promos between tiers, like from- Silver They're gonna put Gold, everybody in like a freaking low elo now, huh? This means that you'll no longer have demotion protection between divisions. They didn't update the, the ranked you'll icon. You'll have that buffer once you reach a new tier. We also Why? know that starting a new season just to grind back up to where you finished the previous one can feel a little tedious. So we've adjusted the way that provisionals work. This year, you should start your climb closer to where you ended. And for all of us sweaty hopefuls, Master Tier and above unlocks immediately with the new rank season. Okay. Which means the first in Challenger there you go. is open today. There you go. There's still a minimum LP requirement for Grandmaster and Challenger. Okay. No more waiting two weeks for it to unlock. Yeah, I so remember in high school, everyone would be like, "Let's we're just gonna wait for two weeks and then they're Finally, gonna get it." They're just wait, they be waiting. And player behavior features. Over the past six months, we've been improving our Yes, honey, someone's going to be masters. Who quit or intentionally ruin the game for others. Mm -hmm. While we still have a lot to do, we've been able to improve detection of players intentionally feeding by 40%. 40%. We're also seeing meaningful decreases. I like how it's new-new. New. <laughs> well, that's even good. Even if it's happening less, when it does happen, it can be really frustrating. So one of the big highlights we've recently shipped is LP mitigation. So now you don't lose as much LP when someone on your you don't team gain as much to you. Ranked. That, that happened, who leave yeah. Will also lose more LP for abandoning their team. We'll talk more about our additional plans here soon, as we hope to make more changes that encourages everyone to work together to get to that victory screen. But well, somebody's got to lose. <laughs> Clash with the boys. It was a long time coming, but I'm happy to say that we've had a great first year of Clash. That's good. 
I mean, the first time they had Clash, it was really bad. They, they closed and it. We want to keep that momentum going. Yeah. This year, we want to make sure that everyone who wants to play Clash can participate. So we're looking at improvements to the free agent tab. Right now, a group of four can find their missing player, but we're also exploring a way for free agents to find themselves a team. We're also going to test running Clash Hear that chat? During the you tell me you don't have friends? So Doesn't matter. You, you can still play. Still have your you can still play. play. You can still we're play. We're going 0-3 like I usually do. Although I swear I have won a clash once. Yeah, huh? okay, the first buddy. Clash tournament of 2021 starts next weekend. Hey, Kaisa Lux Master Yi, that's a thrush. To finish all of your placements before then. So for this tournament only, you don't need to be placed in ranked. Nice. Okay, okay. Progression systems. What does that mean? Looking further to the MMR? future, we want to focus on improving the systems that exist around the game. And let me tell you, League has a lot of these. Ranked, this MMR? Honor, summoner what is this? level, oh, champion okay. mastery, event passes. You get the point. Needless to say, there's a lot going on, and it doesn't always feel like things are working together. Spending time in League should feel meaningful, no matter how you're doing it. <laughs> and we want to bring all <laughs> these complex systems together okay. in a way that gives you clear let's go. progress is that bronze? and rewards for, for everything iron. that you do. Bronze. Let's go. We also want to recognize your personal the name. accomplishments and play style and show them off to other players. <laughs> So whether it's flexing on your other friends names, with your rank, celebrating your skin collection of your favorite champion, Apple buddies, or just how many champs you friends. have mastery seven on. Wait, so like everybody, else, they're friends, only 10 friends. And then what is everybody else? Friends of friends? Randos. Don't do it with them. <laughs> 17 rank duos. What the super best pals? 50. My God. Okay. We want the way you play to feel meaningful and easy to show off. What is this? Now, we're still in early development on what all this, is but this? we'll share more later this what year. What is that? Now, good luck with your climb and ranks. That looks cool. Your rerolls in ARAM. Want to be in my Apple Buddies folder? Yes, please. That would be so, Thanks for watching. that would be nice. I look forward to seeing all of you on the Rift. You won't see me though, because like we're different ELOs maybe. Okay, well, that was uh, some of the new stuff for Gameplay of season 2021. Bob Jason with the 20 gifted. Yo! Thank you so much for 20 gifted subs. I appreciate it. I'll be ready. Mr. Ready Pickles name, Sausage, and Bob on a star here in a bit. By the way, I did go to Walmart. By the way, check it out. Anybody, anybody who subscribes before my birthday, I will put all the stars on this poster board. Yep, I will put all stars on this poster board. That means every single person. Yep, we're go you're going on here. I'm making it on my birthday. It's really big. Okay, I'm putting it back. Anyways, yeah, thank you. Okay, sorry for the sorry for the delay. Let's go back. Let's go back. We're gonna watch the next event. Thank you again, Bob. We're gonna go and we're gonna watch Dev or the Dev video, skins and events in season 2021. I'm very excited for this one because it is skins. Here we go. Dun, 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 dun. Hey everyone, I'm John, aka Bellissimo. Hi John. And I'm the product lead for personalization and events. And his voice is the dev team. soothing. Let's not waste any time and get into some of the things that we have planned for 2021. I care about skins. With this is where our wallet's going. Champions in league, there are a lot of mains to make skins for. So in 2020, we stepped up the number of skins that we ship each year in hopes yeah. that champion mains would no longer have to wait years between skins. That but good. that doesn't mean our work is done. There are still some champions who haven't gotten a skin in a while. So this year... Close and Jin already got it, so I'm okay. Fiddlesticks, Tom Kench, Corky, Camille, Galio, mm -hmm. Lulu, Nautilus, Nautilus. Wukong, Ew, no, not Mimi, Nautilus! Sejuani, Rumble, Which? Yumi, Which got one? and Twitch. You me? If your favorite champion isn't on the list, don't worry. There's there are more. lots more to come as Thank we you, plan everybody. to ship over 140 back. skins this year. This also includes some skins for our more popular champions. Did you say 140? Main, oh! Caitlyn, Let's and go! Let's Craig. Okay, that's a... Mm -hmm. EDC skin? Yeah, let's go! Support skin. Uh, that's nice. For any given thematic, there's God, only this so, is so many champions to deal with be such a good champion. in that world. With us making more and more skins every year, it means that we run into a problem that we call thematic exhaustion. This means that we've either run out of champions that work well in a thematic, or players show their lack of interest through purchase rate, play rate, and feedback. All of this indicates that we should keep trying new things. We'll still We're only be making skins for more. Just kidding. 
like Ooh. Project and Battle Academia. Yeah, bring it back. But we also want to explore new worlds. Like what? In February, we'll be celebrating Lunar New Year with yeah. a brand new Yeah! February! In 2057, the Year of the Ox. Lunar Beast is a world oh where they went ahead? escapes and ancient temples collide. Uh. High fashion streetwear with a touch of traditional elegance is the style of this year's Lunar New Year celebration. Nice! Here's a first look at Fiora, Jarvan, and Alistar. What? Where is part she? of this year's Lunar Beast. No! Show me the thing again! If psychedelic retrofuturism in space is more your vibe. It's a gin on. good news. Our second major thematic of the year is Space Groove. An eccentric take on a sci-fi oh universe full of No fun. way. Oh my gosh. That's Nasus. That's Nasus. Oh my god. They made him like a little Shiva. No. The laws of physics and logic I don't always Shin apply here. Shin 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 some of our favorite what? champions just really dig that, man. Look at this queen. Look. That. Yes. Who said she looks like Seraphine? She doesn't. No. We have lots of ideas for new thematics. That's and so we'd love cute. love your help in prioritizing which so ones cute. you want to see the most. Yo, so welcome. Week, Thank you for coming. We're holding a choice vote between three thematics that we've been exploring. Sailing Moon Who? It's like a Sailing Moon with Singer? Crime City Nightmare and Debonair 2.0. Debonair 2.0? Monster Gamers is a world where champions Another Donna skin. Oh my god. To challenge each other Just kidding. in high stakes She's matches. She's cool. Oh, I thought I thought it was Jin. I thought it was Jin. It's not. <laughs> Nightmare. It's TM. I thought it was Jin, and then I saw the cards. I saw the cards. It takes a dark and horrifying turn as a mysterious figure introduces those desperate for power to an ancient Cthulhu-inspired evil. Finally, we have Debonair 2.0 in a world where powerful elixirs grant extraordinary Jin. abilities. Jin. Jin. Two rival Jin. clubs Jin. vie for power. It's not. Classy opulence it's like, meets modern noir what is this? as champions work together. To Oh my, that's Echo Hall. Huh? The take back. Oh my god. Hello? Shit. Back what they believe. Malzahar? What? what? Malzahar? Oh, because the little voidling. What the heck? It looked like Echo with his hair because the side thing. Ma In a world where powerful elixirs grant extraordinary abilities, two rival clubs have the power. I mean, like, Mouth so hard. Together to take <laughs> oh my god, what are they doing? What are they doing? First, what's his name? Let's go back. First, we had Thresh. Then we had the Lich King, or whatever the heck his name is. V Vago. Mouthahar? We're going to ship whichever thematic gets the most votes this year. <laughs> and we may revisit some of the others later depending on your interest and feedback. So if enough of us want a, another gin skin, they'll give it to us, right? Is that the, what We've they're saying? We've been working to improve events on League. And this year, there are three main areas we want to focus on. Bring For back starters, Star Guardian! We're going to keep running featured game modes alongside every major event. One of our biggest learnings last year Is this was Earth? that players most actively played modes that amplify champion Doom fantasies. Box? For example, in Earth, we amplify fantasies by asking, what if my champion could cast all the time? Or in One for All, we ask, what if my champion Yikes. got to stack with itself? Ew. We believe that there are other interesting ways to amplify champion fantasies, and we'll be exploring fantasies. a new mode in 2021. As they well want as us bringing to play back the game our more. roster of rotating game modes. Where's the enemy team? The second area we'd like going to for focus the, on the is the event pass system. The 2020 was a crazy year, and while we were able to ship a lot Drew. of content, we weren't able to get to some of the event I have a big announcement after this video, by the way. We think clarity and ease of experience can improve a lot. And we'll be sharing more details on our plans to revamp the system cool, cool. in the first half of this hey, year. Hey, those are more... Oh, oh that, was Finally, a, that was last year. One or of the things ago. that made Spirit Blossom stand out from other events was that it was centered around the lore of Runeterra. I loved this. We've gotten feedback that you want to see Runeterra stories move forward. I loved this, the too. The world evolve, and League's champions Let's continue more of journey. this. At the end of Spirit Blossom, more Ari and Yasuo left Ionia on an adventure to Billswater. To be continued, story right? will continue in... Yes! Oh, but things aren't going to end there. Viego's back, and we'll be following his path of destruction in League PC later this year. Where will the ruination spread next? That's a, that has who to can be. Stand up to the Wait, what? King, and who will fall? <gasps> you guys see this? Thanks so much for watching. The only reason we get to do any of this cool stuff is because of your continued support. So, on behalf of the League Dev team, thank you. Thanks, my MMR!
MMR first. Fix my MMR first. Okay, if y'all are curious about Wild Rift, Legends of Runeterra, TFT, those are videos that you can check out on the League of Legends channel. All those videos that I just watched on the League of Legends channel. Um, thank you guys so much for watching them with me. And uh, if you do enjoy these types of videos, go ahead and leave a comment down below and like this video. And I'll see you guys on my next one. Bye! <laughs>